I'm sorry, you have terrible. to see me again. No, <laughs> no, we like seeing you. Pleasant guy, pleasant face. We're going to look at the creme of the creme, though. Um, top of the line, right? Yep. Here we go. Let's take a look. That's correct. Okay. So, we have some of these knives out here where we make our zero tolerance line, and we're pretty proud of them. But then we have these, these ones here that are our limited edition pieces. And these are the ones that really get collectors excited. Yeah. Um, you know, they take a little longer to get them out there. We admit we're a little slow, but really fun stuff. So um, if you look at some of these, like this, for instance, again, this will look a little familiar. Um, if you've seen our 0560 yeah. model that we were looking at before, mm -hmm. this is a limited edition version. And so this is actually a composite blade, which is oh, wow. another one of our uh, patented technologies that we use. It's a so when you say composite, literally composite, there's two Those pieces of metal two there? two pieces of steel, that's correct. Whoa. So that top piece is 14C28N, uh -huh. and that bottom piece is S110V. Oh. And they're joined by a copper braze weld as part of the heat treating process. Whoa. Very, very strong weld. It's, it's, it's amazing. The, the blade will tend to break as a unit rather than along the weld. Wow. Really cool stuff. So this is actually a 560 that's got a smooth carbon fiber handle, so mm -hmm. a lot more machine time making that rather than that texture. Mm -hmm. um, again, we have the composite blade. Um, on the back side, we have that smooth finish on the titanium handle. Nice. Um, same deep carry pocket clip. Same kind of construction, but it re some really neat upgrades on this knife. And that carbon fiber just sparkles. It's when beautiful. You turn it light. Yeah, while we're talking about composite blades, so let's move on to the triple seven. Triple seven is one of those knives that, wow. you know, we it took us a bit to get it out there, um, but they're they're out there now. No, um, we haven't even seen. I don't think we've seen that in the catalog. We've got a 2013, um, do we? This is a limited edition piece, so well, we didn't necessarily put it in the that's catalog. That's probably why. Well, that's very yeah. nice. So this uh, this won us the uh, overall knife of the year at Blade Show in 2011. Mm. It's been a really popular design for us. Um, but you know, if you look at that composite blade, we've got we have a, a Van X 35 edge on this particular sample, and we have a Damascus spine on that blade. And so the, uh. in this case, the composite technology gives you the best best of both worlds. So your cutting edge mm -hmm. is that fantastic edge holding steel, mm. and then you get the beauty of the Damascus in the spine. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So now there's a. I guess you call it a fuller. What do you call it's a that? A big groove in the blade. Yep. Yeah. Is that just to try to lighten it up even more, or is yeah. there is there a is there a structural reason why you did that? It takes a little bit of weight out of it, but yeah. mainly okay. it's a design feature. Yeah. Cool. Nice. So the I other like neat thing about the triple seven is that it's uh, again solid carbon fiber for the front and back handle. Wow. Very very light, but very strong. Wow. Machine titanium backspacer. And it's got that neat sort of ventilation to it. Uh, 3D machine titanium pocket clips. Mm -hmm. um, Completely invisible, looks like, when you stick that uh, in your pocket. Almost, almost. Almost, okay. And then this has the sub-frame lock technology that we've, we've used. Um, so this is a titanium lock bar that's attached with three screws underneath that pocket clip. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's a little hard to see on this is that this has a, lock, a stainless steel lock bar insert, but if you look at that little hole there, mm -hmm. there's a set screw inside of there. So you've got two screws that hold it on in the front, and that little set screw. And so what you can do is you can adjust this lock face. Oh, wow. So as this wears over time, you can tighten that set screw ever so slightly, and it'll push that lock face forward. Nice. And a couple of thousandths of an inch is all it takes to bring that right back to a nice lock engagement. Great engineering. Yeah, that's a great idea. So, so this is the 777 M390, and we made, we've made quite a few of these. These are actually out on the market right now. Um, Variant of the triple seven again with a, in this case with a solid, M three ninety blade on it. Nice. Ooh. So, real nice stone washed kind of almost polished finish on it. Mm -hmm. Again, it's got the the grooves in the blade, real unique look to it. Um, same carbon fiber handles, same cool pivot hardware with that nice brushed finish. Um, same frame lock, mm -hmm. so same I'm sorry sub frame lock with the adjustable adjustable lock bar puck. In this case, you can see that one's been pushed a little bit forward. Yeah, gets all that, yeah. And then, uh, the, uh, this is actually the production clip that went on these. The other knife I showed you is a prototype. So mm -hmm. this is the, uh, this, this is the production machine clip, solid titanium, with the ZT777 written into it. Nice. Um, so again, really neat knife, super light, four ounces, um, and something that we've been real excited about. 
So this is the ZT-0600. It's mm -hmm. a collaboration with R.J. Martin. Again, great custom knife maker, really popular. Um, and one of his most popular models, one of his kind of iconic pieces, is called the Q36. And this design is based on that. So again, we, we did it a little differently. Um, we, we, we included a, uh, a carbon fiber insert, a solid titanium handle. Oh, yeah. um, nice recurve blade, solid titanium backspacer. Mm -hmm. And neat feature on this one is that that backspacer and the handles, they're carved out in a way where you get this, they're almost like nostrils, but what it is is uh, it's where you slide your lanyard through. Sure. So it, it's yeah. a very different way of going about it rather than just drilling a hole in the handle or putting a pin in there. The backspacer and the handles actually kind of form this one piece. Um, again, machine titanium pocket clip. Really nice, elegant little piece on that. Mm -hmm. And not a deep carry, but it's actually it's surprisingly deep in your pocket. For a large knife, this one carries very small. Um, really cool texture pattern that RJ came up with. And the neat thing about this knife is this is actually not really an enormous handle. Hmm. I mean, but it is a four and a quarter inch blade. Yeah. Yeah. And RJ has a real talent. One of the things that he's really just the master of is fitting a huge amount of blade in a not so quite so long handle. Yeah, it's slender this way and it's not all that super long either. Yeah. So that tip probably comes right up there, doesn't it? It comes very, yep. very close to it. It does, yeah. And this also, you know, I forgot to mention these last few ZTs that we've been looking at, mm -hmm. they all feature our KVT ball bearings, mm. uh, ball bearing washers. And so they're very smooth. And when you take that lock pressure off, yeah, they're just gliding on those ball bearings. They wow. just snap. Yeah, cool. So again, really super cool piece. Um, limited edition run um, by R.J. Martin. So this is another great collaboration piece with a maker named Todd Rexford. Um, super cool piece. We actually do a production version of this knife that I don't have a sample of here on the table um, called the ZT0801. Mm. And so we decided last year to do a collaboration piece, or actually this year, excuse me, for Blade Show, we decided to do a collaboration piece with Todd where we took that knife and we really dressed it up. We did some cool machining, added carbon fiber inlays, same nice deep carry clip, again, cool machining on the handle. Um, and we did this really cool new bronze finish. So same company that does the black DLC, mm -hmm. um, it does this fantastic new bronzy finish. It's very antique looking, very, very unique almost steampunk, but it still manages to look modern. Yeah, yeah, um, that's good. So we did some fun details, and I don't know if you can get them in the lighting here or not. So we've actually, on the inside of the back handle, we've machined the Zero Tolerance logo. Yeah. So you see it through that nice cutout in the front right, handle. Right. Um, it's got an M390 blade. Um, again, large, large pivot hardware. Mm -hmm. um, and that great finish. What did you do to get that nice and shiny. I mean, I see carbon so, fiber looking underneath and then it's polished. The carbon fiber just actually came like that. And really? Wow. In production, this will be a matte carbon fiber. Oh, okay. So it, will, it will look more like the other carbon fiber. See, it. But, but it will sparkle beautifully. Carbon oh. fiber is just always gorgeous to work with. Yeah, that's quite unique. That's nice. Yeah. So this is a collaboration with Todd Rexford. Great guy, great knife designer. We're really lucky. We work with some fantastic people as well as create designs in-house. So mm -hmm. we get the best of both worlds. Yeah. Wonderful. So, Shooting Kid, you saw that and said what? That's my fave. <laughs> Play it. Oh, look at that. Tell us a little bit about it, Jim. Okay, so this is the ZT888. So, um, we, were, we were lucky enough to be able to win the uh, overall knife of the year in 2011. And so we kind of said, man, we've got to come up with something else cool. What can we do? And so we, we designed the ZT888. Wow. So, this is another really, really fun knife. This one is really where the triple seven is really super light and fast. This is more of a sculptural piece, so it's mm -hmm. it's weighty, it's hefty, it's solid titanium, no weight relieving. Oh wow! Um, it's not a brick, but it's definitely it is a solid piece, and like I said, more of a sculptural piece. So mm -hmm. we we took a real strong character line that flows all the way through that handle. If you look at that, it goes oh, all I the see. way through. I see that real flowing, sweeping look to it. Um, it has actually, rather than a 3D rounded contour, we did more of a, it comes up to a point, mm -hmm. and that flows up and down the handle. So if you actually, do you mind if I take that for a second? If you look at it, it actually has a, a palm swell. It does, doesn't it? That's cool. Um, a lot of neat details, like we, we have the Machine Zero Tolerance logo, which is something that we've kind of formed a little bit of a theme with. We've, it's, been, it's been really cool to be able what to do that. What happened there? Just uh, I stabbed myself in the hand this well, morning. A real knife user. That's what uh, yeah. engineer and user and designer. Cool. 
Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Derailed you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Pardon my super glue. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we just we really tried to have do something just beautiful and flowing, where we have these grooves that flow back into the the high high point, back into the grooves, back into the high point. So again, kind of more of an artistic piece here. Yeah. Um, Racing lines, if you will. Yeah. It's yep. Nice. Solid titanium frame lock. Um, again, it's got the washer ball bearings. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, and it's hard to tell from this, but if you look, you'll notice that your pivot point is actually kind of low. So something that you wouldn't necessarily see is the fact that we have an eccentric pivot. So hmm. normally your pivot is concentric with the middle of the head. Right. In this case, the shaft is actually down here. So it's, gonna, it's actually a cam. Um, and so that provi provides the anti-rotation anti of this. So you can just tighten your screw in and out no matter what. And that's not going anywhere because it's, yeah. it's off center. It's off axis. Um, Real smooth, snappy design again. And the other neat thing about this knife is that we integrated the pocket clip. It's kind of actually a double-ended unit. So we have this little screw inside of there. Mm -hmm. See that? And so when you loosen that screw, you can actually snap this from the left yeah. to the right. There you go. So left or right-handed carry. Again, and the nice thing is it doesn't really detract from the design much. No. Really, because it's part of the handle. It flows in there nicely. So, who was the designer of this? And um, this was this was an in-house design. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so this is this is one of ours. Very pretty. So then you just take that, just with your T6 Torx tool, mm -hmm. quarter turn, and it's solid, ready to go in your pocket. Also, very deep carry on this. So if we do that same example we did before, that just drops right. Oh in. yeah, that's gone. Nice. Yep. It looks like a high-end pen. Yep. That's a cross pen or something. Yep. Or is that a knife? Yep. But look how small it looks, and then when you pull it out, it's held. It's, you're uh, you're so. pocketing a pretty good size of blade. That's all right. Absolutely. Triple eight. That back to you here. We love Shooting it. Shooting kid. Gonna get yourself one. Yeah. <laughs> Let that speak for itself. Hmm. What is that, Jim? So that is the ZT0454. So if we uh, if we look at these, we have the triple seven, mm -hmm. which. Uh, Again, we, we were able to win the uh, overall knife of the year in 2011. We have the Triple Eight, which won the overall knife of the year in 2012. And then this one here is called the ZT0454. And this one, overall knife of the year at Blade Show in 2013. Wow. So this is a, a new design. And this one actually is a design by a fantastic Russian knife maker called Dmitry Sinkevich. Mm. Really nice guy, really talented maker. It's just a pleasure to work with him. And uh, so this knife, again, it's, it's, it features the thick carbon fiber handles, beautifully 3D machined, nice and smooth, uh, front and back. It's got the same sub-frame lock technology that we've used on some other knives. Mm -hmm. Beautifully machined, um, gorgeous pocket clips. One of those things where I, I remember when I saw that, I thought, man, I wish I designed that. <laughs> great looking, great looking pocket clip. I have a lot of respect for Dimitri. Um, cool 3D machined backspacer. We, Try to come up with something neat for this, so it's got this neat sort of twin rows of jimping on that. Real mm. grippy, nice texture. Yeah. Um, cool oversized pivot. And then something that's new for us, um, we've done our composite blades, and, and this is actually, again, a composite blade, so we said, let's do a three-piece. Let's just go artsy and let's make it cool. And so we actually have CPMD2 on the edge, 14C28N in the middle, and then on that back spine, again, to add some cool looks to that, we've added another piece of CPM D2. And so you mm. get this really cool, just nice, dark, etched finish on there when, when you etch it. Wow. Um, it's really a neat piece. Um, very, very snappy flipper action. That flipper is just nice and far forward, so you get this great action on it. Really, really cool piece. All right. It's the shooting guy, the shooting kid. And Jim from Kershaw, thank you so much no for showing us all these cool things. And you don't mind if we just stick these in our pocket and take them home with us, do you? <laughs> awesome. But, you might uh, have me tackle you. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. Very cool. So folks, you know, do appreciate uh, the guys at Kershaw and Jim and Chris. Thank you very much for making this all happen. Um, cool stuff. And um, we, just in, we just enjoyed visiting with you today. Thank yeah. you so much. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. All right, man. See you soon. Thank you. Yeah, some cool knives you don't get a chance to see every day. See you soon, guys. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God.
Action. Oh, okay. Uh, Ready? Okay, here we go. Action. Okay, one more time. <laughs>